Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie H. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement, and a reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus chapter 4 Moses answered, But they will not believe me, nor listen to my voice. For they will say, Yahweh has not appeared to you. Yahweh asked them, What is that in your hand? Moses replied, A rod. God said, Throw it on the ground. Moses threw it on the ground, and it became a snake, and he ran away from it. Yahweh said to Moses, Stretch out your hand and take it by the tail. Moses stretched out his hand and took hold of it, and it became a rod in his hand. God said, That they may believe that Yahweh, the God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has appeared to you. Now put your hand inside your cloak. Moses put his hand inside his cloak, and when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous, as white as snow. God said, Put your hand inside your cloak again. Moses put his hand inside his cloak again, and when he took it out of his cloak, he saw that it had turned again, as is of a flesh. God said, It will happen. If they will not believe you, or listen to the voice of the first sign, that they will believe the voice of the latter sign. It will happen, if they will not believe even these two signs, or listen to your voice, that you shall take of the water of the river, and pour it on the dry land. The water which you take out of the river, will become blood on the dry land. Moses said to Yahweh, O oh, Father, I am not eloquent. Neither before now, nor since you, have spoken to your servant, for I am slow of speech, and of a slow tongue. Yahweh answered him, Who made man's mouth? Or who makes one mute, or deaf, or seeing, or blind? Isn't this high, Yahweh? Now therefore go, and I will be with your mouth, and teach you what you shall speak. Moses pleaded, Oh, Father, please, send someone else. Yahweh's anger burned against Moses, and he said, What about Aaron, your brother, the Levite? I know that he can speak well. Also, look, he comes out to meet you. When he sees you, he will be glad in his heart. You shall speak to him, and tell him what he should say. I will be with your mouth, and with his mouth, and will teach you what you shall do. He will be your spokesman to the people, and it will happen that he will be to you a mouth, and you will be to him as God. You shall take this rod in your hand, with which you shall do the signs. Moses went and returned to Reuel his father-in-law, and said to him, Please let me go, and I return to my brothers who are in Egypt, and see whether they are still alive. Reuel said to Moses, Go in peace. He always said to Moses and Midian, Go. Return into Egypt, for all the men who sought your life are dead. Moses took his wife and his sons, set them on a donkey, and he returned to the land of Egypt. Moses took God's rod in his hand. He always said to Moses, When you go back into Egypt, see that you do before Pharaoh all the wonders which I have put in your hand. I will harden his heart, and he will not let the people go. 
You shall tell Pharaoh. Yahweh says, Israel is my son, my firstborn. And I have said to him, Let my son go, that he may serve me. And you have refused to let him go. Look, I will kill your son, your firstborn, on the way at a lodging place. Yahweh met Moses and wanted to kill him. Then Zephariah took a flint and cut off the foreskin of her son and cast it at his feet. And she said, Surely you are a bridegroom of blood to me. So Yahweh left him alone. Then she said, You are a bridegroom of blood because of the circumcision. Yahweh said to Aaron, Go into the wilderness to meet Moses. He went and met him on God's mountain and kissed him. Moses told Aaron all Yahweh's words with which he had sent him and all the signs with which he had instructed him. Moses and Aaron went and gathered all the elders of the children of Israel. Aaron spoke all the words which Yahweh had spoken to Moses and did the signs in the sight of the people. The people believed and when they heard that Yahweh had visited the children of Israel and that he had seen their affliction they bowed their heads and worshipped.